In all seriousness, seriously, for reals now. Not joking. Totes Sarazi. Totes Sarazi? What does that even mean? Couple City say super serious. What time is it? Serious time. We gotta talk about butt sex. In the immortal words of Stuff Mom Never Told You, patron saint and star of Broad City, Alana Glazer, it's 2014. Anal sex is on the menu. While it's not 2014 anymore, Alana is totally right because people, especially young people, are having more anal sex than ever before. And a study in the British Medical Journal recently talked to 16 to 18 year old straight kids in London to find out what's up with all this anal sex? How exactly you having it? And you know what they found out? A whole lot of not so great stuff. Now you might be wondering, but Kristen, why are so many straight teenagers having so much butt sex? Answer, pornography. This is porn the musical. Take off your clothes and let's get started. Wait, what? Teen guys interviewed in this study cited three primary extrinsic motivations for wanting to try out anal sex. Number one, wanting to do what they saw in porn. Next was the idea that anal penetration was tighter compared to vaginal penetration. Finally, for the purposes of sexual competition, the idea being the more of a female body they've sexually explored, the more rewarded they are among their male peers. And what about the girls? Well, basically they understand that anal is quote unquote on the menu, so they expect at some point for it to come up. And this is where a concerning pattern of coercion begins to sneak into these heterosexual anal sex scripts. As the study authors write, women being badgered for anal sex appears to be considered normal. There seem to be two primary ways this badgering or coercion takes place. The first is through a type of manipulative messaging that, hey, if people are doing this, they must enjoy it. And if you don't want to do it, then what's wrong with you? <clears throat> Which is extra twisted because the study also finds that the sexual double standard is alive and well and young women put their reputations at risk if they try anal sex and somebody finds out. The second, arguably more problematic form of coercion is accidental penetration or the whole, oh, I just slipped and fell right in kind of thing. I'm no expert in butthole physics, but I am pretty sure that's kind of impossible. Which says to me that we need to have a lot more conversation and education about anal sex because it's happening, yet people don't seem to grasp that the anus is not a consent-free zone. Due in part to that twisted script, the study also found that women associate their experiences with anal sex with pain, not pleasure. You know what else usually isn't part of the heterosexual anal sex equation in addition to female pleasure? Condoms. So listen, if anal sex is on the menu and here to stay, we need to find a new recipe.